Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Monday, May 3rd, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and in the Finis Monitor today, we'll talk to Francis Fred Bousquet. He has the fastest 50 free in the world so far this year. He just qualified for the European Championships. And oh yes, he's a new dad, so not too much going on this year for Fred. He joins us right now in the Finis Monitor from Marseille, France. Fred, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Thank you. How's, uh, how's Laura and how's the baby? Uh, they're both great, actually. All right. Uh, my French is a little rusty. So how do you pronounce your daughter's name? Manon. Manon. That's pretty. Yes. And Thank you. Well, I mean, tell me about the baby. Well, I mean, she's, she's still a baby. So she's uh, three weeks old right now. And uh, she's just been amazing to me. It brings me a lot of happiness right now. I have a, like a five-month-old. I can sympathize with the lack of sleep I imagine you're getting right now. Well, yeah, it's actually a bit of a hard time right now for us, but I mean, we still manage to, uh, to go through every night, and that's fine. Well, good for you, and congratulations. Thank you. Well, we have some video of you recently swimming at the French Nationals, where you did very well, though they, you guys have some quirky rules over there on how to qualify for the big meet. I mean, what's the Tell deal? Me about it. I mean, what's the deal? We know you qualified for the 50, but did you make the relay? I mean, you swam relatively slow in prelim, so I know that kind of put it in jeopardy, even though you swam really fast in semis and finals. So what's going on? Well, actually, um, we had different cuts to make. Uh, we had a cut for the morning swim in prelims, and then one cut for the semifinal. And for final, we didn't have any cut, but we have to be top four, because they, they can take up to four swimmers uh, in each individual event for Europeans. Uh, what happened is that um, I think only like three swimmers make the cut in the morning of the 100 free, uh, not included Fabian, uh, who, wants the, who won the final after uh, the day after, but he's still not qualified. So, I mean, why do they have, why do you have to make a cut for the prelims? Is that a long time French rule? What's the deal? It's, it's a rule that was uh, put on about maybe like six or seven years ago, and they uh, actually didn't use it l the last couple of years, but for some reason, the, the head coach uh, decided to put it back this year, but they actually uh, decided to use the times that were some the past two seasons. Uh, as we all know, there were some in different suits, and they decided to use this, these times as, uh, as cut. So will you be on the relay? Um, I hope so. I mean, we have a short training camp this weekend, and they, they're going to talk to us about what's going to happen for the relays and, uh, and who's going to be able to swim individual or not. Well, how are you feeling in the pool? Um, actually, I, I felt okay. Um, I, can't, I could tell that I didn't have any sleep, <laughs> or enough sleep, I guess. But um, I felt okay in, uh, in the 50s, um, a 53 and 50 ply where... Um, I would say good, but not great. Uh, on the other hand, the hundreds were a lot harder for me this year. I, um, I guess I didn't train enough to, to some good hundred free, and uh, I kind of went for, uh, um, I went for a suicide in that race. I went out way too fast and wasn't able to bring it home by far. All right, we're out of the high-tech suit era, and you were quoted in a recent article in Len Magazine. Pretty interesting quote I want to read for you. You said. This is a different world. When I show up for my heat wearing a Speedo half-naked behind the starting block, I was embarrassed with my butt in the air to take, take your marks position. It's really disconcerting. I don't feel like being at a competition at all. Did you, did you mean that? Well, actually, that was a quote. and There was an interview from, I think, back in October uh, where I went to my first meet in France because you know also that France decided to use the, the rule uh, in the fall. Uh, just, just like the U.S., I guess. And I went to my first meet in October, and uh, at that time, I just decided to know, not wear any jammer. I just went for uh, like a regular suit, regular speedo. And uh, I actually felt like that. Uh, I felt like I was not doing a, I was not at a meet. I was not doing a competition. I was not ready to race, literally. Uh, I felt just like I practiced. The only difference was that I had people behind me watching me. Do you still miss the high-tech suits, or are you comfortable in the jammer now? I would say both. I'm comfortable with the jammer. I'm, I'm happy where I am right now, uh, time-wise. 
but I still miss the suits. I mean, I had so much fun the past two seasons. And I would say I, maybe like last year was maybe the best season of my life. And of course, I would miss the, the suit era. Do you think you swam so well com relative to other swimmers because of the suits? I think that um, I think we did well because of the suit, uh, because it helped us uh, being mentally more prepared. Uh, I'm saying that it it definitely helped us as any other swimmers in the world uh, physically, but uh, mentally I think it was a uh, was it gave us more freedom to think that we could win or have medals. Hmm. Well, the plus side is now we get to see your tattoos a little bit more. You get to show those babies off. Now that you're just wearing yeah, the Yeah, but you also gear. have to stay in shape <laughs> much longer, too. Uh, speaking of, you know, since, uh, since you have a daughter now, you got a new tattoo with her name on it or, or anything like that? No, no, I got no, no new tattoo to show off right now. <laughs> hey, there was one um, one guy that uh, he was kind of a young up and comer for France, and I don't know how to pronounce his name either. Yannick Agnel or uh, Agnel? Agnel, you get it right. Okay, Yannick Agnel. So, uh, what's the deal with this guy? Is he going to be? Well, uh, he's a very talented uh, swimmer. <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, do you, do you see him vying for that relay spot in 2012? Uh, actually, I hope so, because I, I think that he's going to improve his time uh, by a lot uh, within the next two years, and I really hope that he will be part of the relay, uh, as I hope I will be. Um, I think he can be a very good uh, adding to the relay. He's very young, very talented, and he has a, also a, very, a great personality. He's very outgoing, and um, not being cocky or anything, he's very confident into what he does, and uh, he knows exactly where he's at into swimming. And uh, he knows where he wants to go. And uh, I think that right now his 200 free is probably his best shot right now. But I also think that he's going to get more powerful and better strength in the next two years so he can handle 100. Does he train with any of your country's big name swimmers? I'm um, sorry, I, I cut off. Can you Do, say that again? Does he train with any of the you know, Olympians that are already swimming there? Uh, he's training with uh, Clément Lefer, who's also a, a member of the USC uh, team in California. He trains also with a girl called Camille Mufa. She's very well known. She uh, she held the uh, European record in the 200 AM last year. Um, he's in a good group right now. And Fred, you plan to swim any meets here in the States this summer or come back here to train anytime or are you going to stay in France? Well, actually, I, I still need to, uh, to talk to Brett about it, but uh, I like to make a comeback sometimes this, this summer. I have to uh, attend to the uh, Paris Open by the end of June. It's uh, mandatory for us. But uh, after that, I like to make a, make a comeback in Auburn and spend a couple of weeks over there before Europeans. I'm, I'm sure it, it will help me a lot to, uh, to do some great swimmings this summer. Well, Fred, good luck with everything, especially with being a dad. And uh, we'll catch up with you later in the year. That sounds good. Thank you very much. All right, that's Fred Bousquet joining us from Marseille, France. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.